what's up last year a uh, quick demo video for you for your seven chambers skig uh this marks the 20th of these that i've done um so i'm pretty familiar with the hilt but first one for you right so i want to go over this in detail with you so you know what's going on um install with a profi b2 you've got uh that stock clamp card there in the back uh these are my chamber fins that i resin printed um, also resin printed the crystal holder uh, you gave me a few crystals to choose from, but they didn't quite fit, but I have a bunch to choose from. So I chose this one, obviously. Um, it's a little bit, uh, I don't want to say it's milkier in color, but it's more hazy than the ones you gave me because these ones tend to light up better. Um, so that's what I went with, right? If I if I had a clear one that I had to use, sometimes I'll crack them for light, uh, uh, you know, for some light refraction. But this one works out really well. Um We've got a center chamber rod by Phil Guinness. You've got uh, the stock B3 MPXLs in here. It's a two button setup. So your front switch is gonna be your activation. Your back switch is your auxiliary. Uh, this piece right here is your blade retention. And we'll get to that here in a second when we throw a blade in. And then to get to everything, what you wanna do is just unscrew the handle here. Uh, I did go ahead and glue on these grips on your handle. And then uh, this black this black pummel piece, I glued that on as well. I use CA glue for all of that. Um, when you put this handle on and off, you'll notice it's extremely tight. Uh, there's not a whole lot of room in this guy to pack everything that I like to pack in here. But it does fit on and off, obviously, as you just saw. Um, it's just nice and snug. And there's no um, wobbliness to the chassis um, You know when the handle's on. But anyway, when you take that off, here's your chassis. So I've got some force lightning over here. Uh, removable battery setup, spring side your negative, 28 millimeter smugglers out post elite speaker. And then uh, it says solo savers over here for me, but then I continued the force lightning this way. And then uh, your profi board, it's just a snap fit down into the shelf. So if you have to get to this board, I would suggest just coming over here by the micro USB and popping it up diagonally this way. You don't have to take it all the way out. So just pop it up like this. Do what you need to do and then snap it back down into place and it will stay there just fine for you. And then um, just a smuggles outpost, um, smuggles outpost emblem right here. And that's about it. Or your chassis retention is this grub screw right here. Um, but I don't think you'll ever need to take it out. But this is wired kind of like a cross guard. So it's got three different blade styles. Um, I put a copy of your config on your SD card. And what you'll see on there is there's three blade styles for every font. Uh, the first blade style will be your main blade. The second blade style in that series is going to be the seven pixel clamp card. And then the third blade style is the single pixel that I have wired up underneath this crystal. So there's three different things going on there. And I try to mix it up a little bit with your fonts. So you have some stuff going on, right? So let's throw a battery in this guy. Throw the handle on, lock it down. You won't have any trouble getting it on. I'm just letting you know that everything's snug and I like to do that on purpose. So we'll turn this light off and this is kind of like what I've got it doing right now. So it's a slow scroll forward. Your crystal is just kind of pulsating until you turn it on. Then you have a solid crystal with that card in the background doing its thing, right? Good smooth swing. Get your LEDs in there firing up like they should. Auxiliary. I made sure when you hit the auxiliary, you'll see it in your chamber as well. So both the clamp card and the crystal will flash. And you can twist off and uh, we'll throw a blade in this guy real quick. This takes a one inch diameter NeoPixel blade. I'm just backing this out of the blade socket so we can slap this guy in here and then lock it down. This is ignition. I use the provided blade style. So I'm just tapping for blaster deflex. You have battle mode. So if you hit the blade or the saber, you get blade lockup. 
you'll see it about the middle of your blade and it will stay like that until you pull away from it and you can also see that animation in your chamber right here until you pull away and we'll go to the next one by hitting auxiliary So as you can see, I've got the crystal on this one pulsating. It's actually silver. It looks white, but it's silver. And then, uh, you know, that scrolling effect. So you turn it on. This was also the provided blade style. Most of these were. I think they all came in one. And blade lock up. Super solid. Oh, nice and loud. Of course, if you don't want to use motion control, you can just come hit the deactivation. Right, and then tap it again to turn it off. Do that again, so this one's doing that as well. I believe we've got one more on here. Ignition. Might have gone through them all already. Yeah. The might of the power, I will give you ignition. So yeah, you tried to send me five to put on here, but as you know, four came through and the other one I couldn't download. So that's why I put a copy. Well, actually I always put a copy of the config on the SD card anyway, but you and I talked about having to add that one later. So you have the four that you sent me in the one email on here right now um, to take everything out or the battery out. Right. We just want to do what we did before. Take the handle off and then come over here by the positive side of the battery, which is by your speaker. And you can pop it out with your finger just like that. Let me turn this light back on. And yeah, that is pretty much your saber. Uh, let me know if you got any questions. If not, I will try to get this out in the mail to you tomorrow. All right. Thanks, man.